that as we go into your word, we we'll receive light, we we'll receive understanding, we we'll receive revelation, we we'll receive insight, and we we'll walk in your perfect way. Thank you for truth that sets free, that breaks yokes, that destroys bondages, and that launches into your perfect will and establishes in the path of righteousness. We appreciate you. Light that brings us into new experience, we we'll receive this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. All right. Glory to God. So we're looking at um, the study we started on the word of the Lord for the month, which is the month of waterfalls. And God wants us to enjoy these waterfalls. When the waterfalls happen, waterfalls a lot. And we get a kind of a torrential pour. You know, so it's not... Is more than rain. You get a lot of water more than rain. If the waterfalls could be all over a particular region, in fact, the place will become like an ocean in just some, maybe less than an hour because it brings a lot of water. And that's the important thing to, for us to understand. Waterfalls means God is bringing a lot of his goodness, his blessings in our lives. And there are certain key things that initiate the pouring for the manifestation of the blessings key things one of them is grace which we looked at yesterday grace abundance of grace all right now today we are looking at power that's another thing that the waterfalls is bringing power power and now not just some major manifestation or mega manifestation of power no so much power Look at the book of Zechariah chapter 10, verse um, 1. He said, Ask you of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. And this is very serious. Every single grass in the field will get the rain. All right? When the water falls too, that's what happens. Everyone gets it. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you shall receive power after that the holy ghost has come upon you and you should be my witness in jerusalem in judea and to the uttermost part of the earth jesus is saying that you are going to receive power and we have received the power and by that power we are going from jerusalem to judea to samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth but you have to start from your jerusalem then you go to your judea then you go to your next and next and next. God wants you to have abundance of power. In Ephesians in chapter 3, verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Thank you, Father. Verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly, Above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So, if you look at this portion of scripture, it's describing what God does. He does his works and his works are always exceedingly and abundantly above all that you ask or think. Exceedingly and abundantly. Now, what is producing this exceedingly abundantly? Of course, power that is exceeding. Power that is abundance. There is a waterfall of power coming on your life this month. God has designed it to launch you into new realms and into new experiences. Every day you must pray it and say, Father, thank you because you have released the waterfalls of grace waterfalls of power i receive power in abundance into all aspects of my life my situation power in abundance so much power so much power all right so much power it is important you know somebody imagine somebody goes to a, a, a graveyard to just raise one person from the dead but because there was so much power all the dead rose even the ones that have been dead for three four years their flesh form that they rose again from the dead. That's so much power. Power that 
he said he's able to do exceedingly abundantly that's what that power does it does exceedingly and abundantly above anything you can ask or think of power the waterfalls of power come and say this prayer with me say father i receive the waterfalls of power into my life my home my ministry into my work my business my profession whatever i do i receive yes the waterfalls of power nakambo tori in pescovia zatio to balasia orande pikedo from akadwashi anigere mambo koto prebianta ariando shofia pesco dubal arigama ma sofia mpete con lupere arrochakatia yes somebody you need something someone to be separated from one thing Oh, Baruko Tomparaba, there is power that can separate that strained husband from his strained life. The strained life of humanizing. There is power that can separate that strained child from that wrong lifestyle. There is power that can separate that drug addict from the addiction and from the drugs. That power is available. It's available. It's available. Pray with me and say, Father, I receive this power flowing into my life flowing into my body i receive the instruction given i receive grace in the name of jesus begin to pray that in the holy ghost arika mamos kofi ambede arika babos kofi apolu petania nemeko 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 jabra erko kofi ambesia besia 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 Jacambi power. I receive power. Now, when that power comes, all right, because the power will come as you pray and as you yield to God. But we release the power by faith and by speaking. When things happen, speak to it because there's power. Tell the thing what you want it to be. Tell the situation what you want it to be. Tell the circumstance what you want it to be. And even tell the human beings what you want them to do. There is a need to understand that there is power available for you. Power that you cannot even fathom. Power that is so much. So much power. And this power is manifested in your life today. It can't be stopped anymore. It can't be stopped anymore. Pray with me and say, Father, I receive your power activated in me. Power that cannot be stopped anymore. I receive. I receive your help. In the name of Jesus, that pray in the Holy Ghost and receive His help as we go into our confession for today. Glory be to God in the highest. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you praise. As we take our confession, we receive your help. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Say with me. Because in PAD, we do not say what we're going through. We say what we're going to. Where we're going to, as if we're already there. So say what we say in the name of Jesus. I am the blessed of the Lord. Empowered to prosper. In the name of Jesus. No evil can befall me. No plague can come near me. For the Lord is around me and my household. As a wall of fire. In the name of Jesus. I declare. The will of God has prospered in my life. I live in sound health. Because Jesus took the diseases and sicknesses that should have been mine. He destroyed them on the cross. So I live in sound health. Yes, I have the power to get wealth. And by this power, wealth opportunities, open, open doors for wealth are flooding my life. And wealth is filling all aspects of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare in the name of Jesus, I and all that am I are the secured ones. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. We are protected and secured. 
we are protected and secured in the name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus, I and all that are mine, we are secured. I declare I am the favored one. I go out blessed. I come back blessed. All creation and all men favor me in the name of Jesus. I am born of God. God is love. I am love. I walk in love. God is holy. I am holy. I walk in purity. God is righteous. I am the righteousness of God. I walk in perfection of his glory in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. I have the spirit of humility and the mind of humility like Christ. And therefore, I'm submissive to God, his will and his counsel in the name of Jesus. I declare that the Lord and I are one spirit. For he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. So I'm one spirit with the Lord. I walk in his will. I walk in his counsel. And I walk in his purpose. And his name is glorified in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I am head and never tail. I'm from above, so I'm above all in all my fields of work and labor. I declare my home is God's habitation. I and my spouse, we are one. Our children are taught of the Lord. Great is the peace of our children. They are mighty on the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord is mighty in their lives and they cannot fail. I declare today, I manifest the fullness of Christ's character. Yes, doing what he would do, saying what he would say, and thinking what he would think in the name of Jesus. I declare, I manifest the fullness of Christ's power everywhere I go. I lay hands on the sick and they all recover in the name of Jesus. I cast out devils and they all live in the name of Jesus. I manifest the fullness of Christ's wisdom in all aspects of my life. I, 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 I have wisdom, strategy, solutions, and answers. And I apply them and we go forward in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I manifest the fullness of God's and Christ's presence. Everywhere I am, the presence of God soaks the place. Sinners have come to Christ. The sick have been healed. The glory of God has manifested on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that it is well with my soul. It is well with all that concerns me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to begin to speak into your day. Your father calls the things that are not as if they are. So call the meeting as if it's already happened. Declare, I have had a meeting with Mr. Tosa and so, and the meeting has turned out this way, and I have this result in the name of Jesus. I have had this. You speak of it as if it has already happened. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Do that quickly. Um, if today is your birthday, I'm going to pray for you. If you joined us for the first time, I'm also going to pray for you. Then after that, I'm going to pray over our seeds. Father, I pray for all the celebrants. Let your hand be mighty in their lives. Let there be, let this year be a year of enlargement of coast and increase in the name of Jesus. Bless them with your love. Bless them with your love. Bless them with your love and help them to walk in your full counsel in the name of Jesus. If you joined us for the first time, I declare you blessed, increased, empowered to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You are blessed. And we give God all the glory for that in the name of Jesus. Our Father, we declare that we are one spirit with you. Therefore, we enjoy intimacy with you and walk with you. Thank you for your love for us. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Glory to God. All right. Engage you every day. He wants to talk to you. He wants to fellowship with you. He wants to have discussions with you. He's looking for that. Someone said sometimes, he said, God is not a talkative. I said, you have not met him. When you meet him, you might have heard about him. You might have expressed his hand in miracles, wonders done in your life. But if you have really met him, you will know he talks. He likes talking. He enjoys being with you.